welcome back to another review. It's been a while since I've done one of the lotion reviews. Um, actually, I may have only done like two of them for the Bath and Body Works ones before, so here we are with another one. I mean, the triple moisture, I can talk the triple moisture ones. It's a love-hate relationship because I like the way they feel the best, but they have the shortest shelf life. So I'm like, well, if I'm going to do this, I better hurry up and do it while it's still good. Because so, I've had this one for a while. Um, and I'm just, can we appreciate the pretty? Look at the sparkly. The sparkly. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. So, <laughs> not going to lie, 90% of why I bought it was for the sparkly. And the other one that I got with it at the time, which is also sparkly. They were from like a New Year's Eve collection, I think wanna say last year? Um, so we're about halfway on the shelf life, if I remember right, so, uh, anyway, yes, that, this is the Champagne Toast Sparkling Bellini, uh, 24 hour moisture, uh, body cream with Ultra Shea, Ultra Shea body cream, I guess, so, again, pretty, 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 sparkly, sparkly, 10 out of 10 on the packaging, just saying, because it is so sparkly and beautiful. It doesn't have, like, glitter that comes off on your hands or anything, like, it looks like it would. It just is so magical and pretty, and yes, I'm not going to stop doing it. <laughs> so, anyway, on the back, Signature Collection Champagne Toast. They brought back this scent quite a few times. The other one that I have with it, I'm not sure that I've seen come back, but this one has, and I'm happy because I feel like I like this one a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, so the scent notes in this are pink champagne, black currant chambord, I'm not even quite sure what that is, uh, I know what black currant is, sparkling nectarine, and sugared musk. And then the rest of it. Our Ultra Shea Body Cream provides 24 hours of continuous nourishing moisture, so skin feels noticeably softer. Infused with ultra-rich moisturizing shea butter, enriched with skin-soothing aloe butter and pampering cocoa butter, Non-greasy formula, that's the big one for me, melts into skin for luxurious fragrance and indulgent hydration all day, all night. And it does really work like a beast, my goodness. So, let's see. While it's still in here, scent... I do get a very sugary scent. I'm assuming that's the sugared musk. I absolutely smell the tangerines like a mile away. But then the other two are a little trickier to find, if I even can, so... Doesn't need that much, but I'm just gonna put it on my arms, too, as well as my hands. If I were just doing my hands, like, less than half of that, like, you could use a little thought. That's why these last me so long, and why it's a pain that I buy so many at a time, because with lasting that long, it's like, oh, I don't want to waste them, but, oh, they go bad, though, and... Ah, it smells really good while you're putting it on. Mmm, okay, I smell the champagne in there now, too, so now I'm just looking for that blackcurrant chambord or courant. I, I never know how to say that word, um, but I definitely smell three out of four for certain, so that's always a good thing. Try to get my janky elbows all moisturized up. That is a big thing that I like using this stuff for, is my elbows. I have so many things I put on my elbows, not that it ever seems to help, but, anywho. Yeah, I, I think I really do just get the three out of four. But then again, if I knew what a sham board was, maybe it would help. <laughs> I know what black is. Um, and maybe teeny tiny, like, dot of it comes through. But I mostly get the other three. It's mostly the nectarines and... I want to say the champagne, or the two big ones, although you can smell the sugared musk as well, but the main two are those two, for what that may be worth to you. So, not so sure about the other one. I know it looks greasy right now, but give it like five minutes it will be 100% soaked in, and that is why I love this stuff, because it's not greasy, and I can go back to whatever I was doing without getting anything on anything. That is, like, a big thing I look for in any sort of body lotions, creams, you name it, um, that they not be greasy. Because <laughs> I, I want to be able to wear lotion without it feeling like I'm wearing lotion because of being greasy. Um, 
so that's a thing. So if I have to go wash it off because it's greasy, then it just defeated the purpose of using it. <laughs> Whereas this stuff I've never had that be a thing with, and I love it. No matter how much I put on, it's just very nice. So that's always good. Um, so anyways, it's really, really silky though, and I can attest this stuff it really does make a huge difference on the way your skin feels after you've used it. It feels so, so soft and really, really, really nourished. Um, they're not na uh, not lying with the name. It does its job super well, and that is why it just it pains my heart that it has the shortest shelf life. Because to me, out of all the different types of body creams, lotions, and such at Bath & Body Works, these hands down work the best, and they feel the best. But that's the trade-off so it's like oh. if it weren't for that they would be like the perfect thing and I would stock up even more hardcore but because of that I did dial back my purchasing with them because like I can only use up so many realistically at a time so I don't want them to go to waste they're not cheap the original price on this it's not what I paid I, I bought it during a semi-annual sale so I got way less but 13 bucks for this originally I don't know about you, this, I, I would not pay $13 for this. Sale prices, yes. With coupons, yes. Not $13, though. <laughs> um, I think I got it for less than half, though, if I remember right. Because during semi-annual sales, everything comes down. Um, so there's already that. And then I coupon on top of that. So, every time. Every time. I refuse to pay full price for stuff there. Because it's just, it's too high. Um... But yeah, but anywho, I would say my rating for this stuff. Oh, and I almost forgot. <laughs> I'm all over the place. The scent lingers on this really well without being overwhelming. It's a classy scent without being over the top. And it's not headachey or anything. It's really nice. It's more than I can say for the other one that I bought at the same time. So if that one gets a little headachey, it can be a bit much. But this one is like perfect level of everything. And it stays on for hours and hours and hours. Even after you've washed your hands. I still smell it. But, um, and the softness to your skin really lasts. So that also, huge draw to it. Um... And it doesn't take very much to cover a lot of ground. <laughs> so these last a really long time. But, um, I would say if it weren't for the short shelf life and the high price tag, these would have a perfect rating for me. Uh, even though the price tag can be mitigated easily. And that's why I'm only t counting one point against it. But that one point is a big point. Because usually best case scenario you can get about two years out of one of these before it goes off. Whereas the other lotions from Bath and, uh, I could talk, Bath and Body Works, those can last for years and years and be fine. But these, though, they get funny on you. And while they don't show an expiration date, there's always the little number on the crimp. And if you know how to read it, if you know how to interpret that, you'll know exactly when the one in your hand was created, and you can figure out approximately two years from there when to expect it to start getting funky on you. It's not like hard and fast rule two years from there, just auto-toss. Uh, use discretion. If it's starting to smell funny or look funny, then, yeah. But if it still smells and looks perfectly fine, they, you know, keep using it. It just... I would say be aware of the date, just so you know when, whereabouts to start expecting issues to pop up with it. But I would still rate this 4 out of 5. Really highly recommend it. It sucks that they only bring back this scent during, like, the very uh, start of the year for New Year's, and then they, like, retire it again. Uh, although they're still selling it right now, so it sticks around for a bit, but then it disappears till the next year. But I really like this one. I, I'd be happy if they sold it year-round, but they don't. So I just look forward to it year after year, ever since buying this one. So, anywho, that's all I have to say for this one. So, as usual, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be quick subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Any of you guys have this one, current or old packaging, 
it doesn't matter, or did you have it at any point? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mad about it? Um, let me know down below, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me about anything at all. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, they're all listed down below, my Etsy, my Instagram, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, a bunch of other stuff's all down there. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. So anyway guys, till next time, bye bye.